directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my big tidy up. My name is Dee Dee. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Now today, here's what's on the menu. Today, I am headed down to the basement to do some decluttering and also to give my basement a little bit of what I would call an adult refresh. Now, let me explain what that is. If you haven't been here with me a while, you probably don't know that there are several days a week that we have some little people that stay with us that we help watch. Well, you know, they come with a lot of things, high chairs, toys, all those things. Well, they're going to be gone for a few days and I've got some adults coming in to visit. So what I really want to do is make my basement a little bit more adult friendly. Normally you want to make it kid friendly. Well, for the next week or so, I want to make it more adult friendly. So I'm going to be putting away some things. I'm going to kind of be switching up some decor. And I also have an area I need to declutter to allow more storage for my guests. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get down to that basement. Let's get to it and let's get tidy. Well, here it is. I do have a lot to do today because basically I plan on cleaning and refreshing five rooms down here plus the entryway when you come down the stairs. So really the only places I don't plan on touching are the storage room, which you guys know I just recently did, and the workout room. And it basically just has three large pieces of equipment, a television and a stereo setup. So there's nothing I really need to do in there, but every other place, I need to take care of. So aside from cleaning each room, I want to give each room a decluttered look. Less decor, less stuff sitting around, some items I'm going to put away, and some items I'm just going to haul out of here. Some things are obvious that it's cluttered, but then I have some hidden things that are cluttered. And now entering the video, the hidden clutter. Now these last two rooms, I don't have a lot to do, which is probably gonna be a good thing because I'm gonna work my way around and these will be the last two rooms I get to and I'll probably be tired and getting burnt out by then. But I do wanna make a few small changes, but I'm hoping the small changes will make a big difference. Now, before I even start cleaning, I'm just trying to get everything picked up, get all the toys off the floor, and I'm making sure I have all the toys turned off because when I don't, it never fails. Something will move and they'll start going off when we're down here watching television in the evening. And you know, we used to be able to keep all of the toys in this gray padded chest, 
but we've outgrown it. Because, you know, the bigger the little fellas get, the toys get bigger too. So I'm probably going to do something different in the future for toy storage. I got this thinking it would be a great way to have concealed storage where it would look more like a piece of furniture. However, since we have the other totes out, it's really defeating my purpose. So I may end up moving it to another room in the future. Who knows? Well, I think I've got everything put away that I am going to put away. I put the mini tramp in the storage room and probably that's where the high chair is going to end up too. I've got the toys a little bit more discreet in the corner. Now the pack and play, I'm not taking that bad boy apart just to put it back together again in a few days. So it's going to stay there, but I do think I've made it a little bit more roomy and people won't feel like they're having to walk around things or trip on things while they're here. So I really just have to clean this and then I'm moving on. Now this might not even be considered cleaning, maybe it's considered maintenance, but I always like to rotate my cushions so they all wear evenly. And you know, I mentioned this to someone once and they said, no, I don't rotate my cushions. I just sit in different places. And I was like, what? I guess rotating where you sit would be easier than always flipping your cushions, but we are creatures of habit. We sit in the same place all the time. And I just thought it was funny that she rotates her cushions by rotating herself. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video right here because I know without a doubt someone's going to ask me, what have you got in your hand? What's hidden behind that picture? I have always said that I have the best community out there and the most observant because I can change one tiny minuscule thing and you guys will notice and ask me about it. So what was orange in my hand that I was hiding behind the picture? Well, it's the secret hiding place for the drumsticks and not the delicious ice cream treat ones, but the real drumsticks. We keep them close by the toys, but not with the toys. That way we can make sure Everybody's eyeballs stay safe all day long. Well, I'm about ready to start working up here. I am going to run the Yeedy on the carpet down here. I don't run the Yeedy down here in the basement a lot just for the simple fact there's a lot of things usually setting out that it has to navigate around. But since a lot of it's put up, I am going to go ahead and run it. And while it's going, I'm going to tackle this up here. And I really think it's maybe about a 10 or a 15 minute fix. I've got a few little dirty cups I need to wash. I need to put some toys together over here. And I do want to put the high chair away, but before I do that, I'm going to clear off the counter here and put the popcorn popper up because I won't be using it again unless some special occasion comes up. We usually don't use it until it's football season, and so I'm going to put it in first because I'll be pulling out the high chair, like I said, in a few days. Once I get that done, wipe down the counters, and then I'll just have to mop, but I'm going to hit that at the very end.
I actually thought about bringing a small piece of decor or something to sit out on the counter where the popcorn popper was, just because I like things to be balanced and symmetrical, and I knew I would have the cracker jars on the left, I'd have the tray in the middle, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it empty, see if it grows on me, because even though it won't be symmetrical, it's going to be less cluttered, and that's what I'm going for. Well, I'm working my way around and I do want to make just a couple little changes out here in this entry area. I am going to keep the little fellow's pictures right where they are, but I'm thinking about trying that little lantern and putting it here on this little table because I'm going to be moving this lamp and give it a try and I'll show you where over here in what I call the chocolate guest room because I don't particularly care for the lamp that I have in here. I've tried to make it more modern. I've painted it, but the lampshade wiggles, and I really don't think the color matches with the bedspread. And I think I'm gonna move it either out to that table or just put it away. But I do think the other lamp by the chair is gonna work so much better in here. So I'm gonna definitely do that and then maybe add a little something on the table as well. Well, I have finally made it to the room that I have been looking forward to working on. Now, as far as the cleaning part of it, it's not going to take much. Just a quick dusting. I'll run the vacuum, just kind of tidy up the bed. What's going to take me a while is this dresser project. And I have delusions of grandeur that I'm just going to bust this out real quick. But I do think it's probably going to take me a little bit longer because I have all of these frames. Now, the last time I counted, they were over like 50 or 60 frames, I think. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep all those pictures, but I'm gonna put them in these plastic sleeves and get rid of a lot of the frames. You know, back in the day, we used to have photo albums, so I guess that's kind of what I'm doing. And that way I can rotate my pictures out and change them up a little bit. Because truthfully, 50 or 60 frames, I'm never gonna have that many pictures out at one time. It would be almost too much for the eye to take in. So I don't know why I let it get out of control like this, but today it's ending.
Well, phase one is done and here are all the frames that are leaving my home today. And I can't believe all of these frames came out of just a few drawers in this dresser. Now I will tell you, I'm gonna admit it right now, this did take me longer than I thought it would. I went and got a butter knife to help me pull those tabs back and save my fingers, but I wasn't going down memory lane or anything. I was just doing the task at hand and it did take me a while. So all of these are leaving and all of that pile for one little stack of pictures like this. So it really is gonna be the smarter way to store the pictures in my home at least. But I did decide I am gonna keep a few frames in each size. I kept a couple of three by fives, a couple of four by sixes, about three or four five by sevens cause that's pretty common and I use that size a lot. I did save this trio picture because I've got two grandchildren and maybe I'll have a third one day to fill it up. And then I did keep two eight by tens and this oval homestead picture. So that's what I'm keeping and that's what's going. And I will load them up, count them up and let you know how many I'm getting rid of today. Well, today's total, I kept 11 frames and I decluttered 44. Well, here in the bathroom, I don't have that much to do because I cleaned it yesterday, but I do want to go ahead and put these little stools up in this bottom cabinet just to free up the walkway for my guests. I also want to switch out my soap dispensers. Now, I've got two of these bottles of soap, and I told myself once I got rid of it and it was almost gone, I could go ahead and change it out for my new soap dispensers. Well, this is the perfect time to do it, and I'm absolutely just in love with these. I think it's gonna look so good and kind of level up the bathroom a little bit. Because of the gold, I think it's gonna look so good with the gold here on the cabinets and really pull everything together and the fixtures. So other than that, just a couple things to do and then I'm headed to the final room. Well, I am on the home stretch. This is the last room I have to do. And then I will mop myself out and upstairs and be done for the day. Now, one thing I noticed that I want to change about this room is I have too many little wordy sayings. And so I want to kind of eliminate a couple if I can. Wordy saying, wordy saying on the pillow, another thing on the wall with words, in the window seal with words, here with words, here with words and not that i don't love each piece but i do think that's one two three four five six things with writing on it that i need to eliminate a few of those at least i brought some clean pillowcases down because i want to make sure that i leave good fresh pillows if the guests want extra pillows i'm going to try this lamp and then i'm going to dust and vacuum and that's it I had two placemats in this room, one on the dresser and one on the nightstand, and I really wanted to eliminate both of them. But when I brought the different lamp in, the browns didn't really match and it just didn't look good sitting on the nightstand without something between the two browns. I know you can't really tell because I'm blocking it, but it does look better with the placemat.
Well, before I vacuum my way out of this room, I thought I better show you the decor closet because I took a few pieces of decor out of the drawers, out of the yellow room. I brought this lamp in. I've simplified this room. And so all those pieces had to go somewhere and they've gone right here. Now I know it's starting to fill up and it's going to be time for another declutter, but I am happy with how things are looking. I did see this, however, March 2nd. This was a piece that I got on clearance and I said, I need to use this somewhere or I'm gonna to have to pass it along. I'm just a little bit behind the deadline here. So I'll be addressing that soon, but here's where everything went. But I do think it's neat and tidy and my guests can have room to hang up their things if they wanna use this room or if they use the other room. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. Yeah. I'm going out of my mind. Out of my mind. Out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do.
Well, Tidy Uppers, that's all for today. The basement has been refreshed and an area decluttered, and I am good to go. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please take care of yourself, and until I see you in the next one, stay tidy.